Hello and welcome to my video today and thank you for joining me. Um, today we're going to go through the new features on Google Calendar within the sidebar of Gmail and Google Docs. Now, I'm only going to show you the Gmail side but it works in exactly the same way in other Google applications such as Google Docs and Slides etc. So we're going to talk through the new features compared to the old features and why I like them. Um, so let's just get started straight away. So I'm going to click on my Google Calendar sidebar here. Now the first thing you're going to notice is um, that when this video is uploaded, it's the 30th of June and my calendar is on the 2nd of July. It's just because I've got a busier schedule that day and I can show you a bit more of the functionality with a busy calendar. So that's the reason I've uh, jumped ahead a few days. Now you can see I've got a few different colors on here, uh, which are the same as in normal Google Calendar. Um, but these blue boxes here are events that I've created or that, or that are on my calendar. I have these white boxes, which are events that I've been invited to as a guest. And I have this pink box at the bottom, which is a calendar that I've subscribed to, which is uh, my Short and Sweet account. Um, so if uh, you haven't checked out already, Short and Sweet on YouTube. This Thursday, we've got a live session all about Flipgrid, which you should definitely check out, so make sure you're there. But you can just see that's the different color variations of my calendar here. Now. Some of the new features that we've got in Google Calendar, uh, or the sidebar of Google Calendar here, is that we can fully access and edit any event in our calendar. Now, I'm just going to show you uh, by me creating a uh, event here to start with. I'm going to click on here to create a meeting or create an event, to which I can add a title, which is the same as before and the same thing. You can change the date and time on here, but I'm just going to put demo for YouTube as this title. Now, I can also add guests before, uh, but this is one of the new things. When I add a guest uh, and select it, so I'm going to choose my colleague Luke here. Um, one of the new things we can do within the side menu here is adjust their permissions. So uh, I can see here I've got modify event, uh, invite others, and see the guest list. So I can decide that Luke is a good, good colleague. I trust him. He can have all those permissions. That's not a problem. Now, before, you'd have to open up the calendar uh, in full uh, full view by uh, clicking on this pop-out here, which will take you to the full Google Calendar application. You'd have to do this in the, uh, in the More Settings label at the bottom. But now you can do this inside the sidebar, which is going to be really good. Now, you can see it also automatically creates a Google Meet for me here, but sometimes it doesn't do that. I think it's a setting that's on for my domain. But again, before, you'd have to go into More Options in the calendar application to add that in. But now you can just click in here and it loads up a unique Google link for that meeting. So again, really powerful. Uh, and if your domain has rooms or locations set up, again, you can use those. In terms of me, I don't have those set up on my school domain, uh, which is where I'm showing you this demo from today. But again, all these things uh, you can see here, the guest permissions, rooms, locations, and Google Meet, were all options that you had to go into the Google Calendar application for before. Um, and you can also add descriptions here and and one of my favorite bits as well is is the notification settings you have at the bottom so i'm going to put an hour before and also 10 minutes before just to remind everybody that we need to be going to this meeting now once i'm done i'm just going to click save and in this instance i'm not going to send an invite because this is a demo event and i don't actually need anyone to attend it so i'm going to click do not send okay and you'll see this now appears here so you can see I've got the option to now adjust the guest permissions, add Google Meet conferencing, rooms, locations, and uh, the notification settings all from within the sidebar. And that's not the only things you can do. Once you've created your event, you can actually go back in now, oh, wrong one, uh, go in now and click on this pencil at the top, so the edit event, and I can edit all those uh, permissions and settings after the event's been created as well. So again um, this is you can adjust all the same settings but you can edit them all from within the sidebar which is going to save so much time rather than when you get an email you need to schedule a quick meeting or schedule to do something and you know before you could only put the name and invite people to it and you have to go into google calendar to put the meets in and, and locations and everything else that you needed to, to add on there but now you can do everything from within the sidebar in gmail which is absolutely fantastic and and I'm just going to use this opportunity uh, opportunity to um, advertise something else as well. You can actually insert links in your description to maybe documents or anything like that that you need, like maybe a, an agenda for the meeting as well. So that's another really cool thing. 
Um, I'm not sure that's something new. I think you could do that before, um, but it's just worth noting that you can do that as well. Um, but this is definitely going to be really powerful in terms of saving us a lot of time when, say, when we get those emails flowing in um, and having to, before, go to Google, applica- uh, Google Calendar application. And now you can do it all from your sidebar. And the same thing through Google uh, Docs and slides, etc., as well. So one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite updates has come out recently. It's going to save me a lot of time. Um, and also, I'm going to link to uh, below this video. I'm going to put a link to the G Suite update blog, which will show you uh, some more information about it um, and some some stuff from an admin point of view. Um, it's worth noting you don't need to do anything from an admin point of view to get this working. But it might be a good read for you just to get a little bit more understanding of what uh, what other features are available. But I just want to say thanks for joining us today. If you haven't checked out the Short and Sweet channel, make sure you do check that out. Uh, say this Thursday, we're going to go through Flipgrid. In the meantime, thanks for watching, guys. If you think someone will find this useful, please share, like, and comment on the video. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button to make sure you see when I post new videos. Make sure to stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Take care.